Fantasy Creature Project number nine. Nine is just finishing touches. At this point, you just want to look at everything very close up and see if there's anything that maybe you overlooked. I would suggest going through and turning every layer off and on. So I know that my eyes are pretty good. That's the most recent thing I did, but I'm going to turn them off and then continue down. Then let's look here. Um, turn your hue saturation on and off because you may see an area where your color bled. And if that's the case, this is the time to fix it. So find, uh, find out whether or not that looks okay or not, and then paint out if it needs to be fixed. Um, and then of course we've got our textures. If you did your textures, you wanna just make sure that those are not bleeding off of, again, your subject, like mine is over here on the left. So I can see on this arm, we definitely have some problems. So I'm gonna take my black paintbrush and I'm gonna go through and make sure that I do not have any little excess areas that should not be. So you're just going to kind of do that with every layer to double check it. So as you find something that's wrong, take the time, make sure you're on the right layer, because I'm on the wrong layer, take the time to go now and fix any of those little areas. Okay, so one layer at a time. And I just really do recommend you do it one layer at a time. I promise it just works better if you look at every single layer as its own. Um, check your levels again if you've added any special features somewhere like here I have my levels going on on my antlers so that looks okay make sure I'm not missing any pieces of antler make sure that I'm happy with the way these blend into the hair or if not that I do some burning or dodging or something to make it look better I'm still not super loving the ear especially then I have it coming out through the back I don't know I guess that's more realistic but it kind of bothers me but I'm gonna let it go um, Again, with your colors, make sure that they look okay. You might decide, you know, now, oh man, that would look better if I turned the opacity down a little more. So maybe um, on certain layers, you may want to, oops, I just turned the opacity down on my arms. Okay. So just kind of go through all of those one by one, double checking everything. Okay, that's better. Um, the other thing you might want to do on this last step is to consider like some shadows a little bit. So on your layer of yourself, which should be rasterized already, maybe do some burning in some places. You may want to turn your burn exposure down so you're not like going crazy. Um, but you know, I can like maybe burn in this eye socket area a little bit just so it kind of looks a little bit darker. Maybe that looks a little bit better, you know, like there's eye sockets are in there. Um, and you may have other areas like under your neck, go a little darker in here, um, you know, or certain certain places just where you think it might look a little bit better, just to give it a little bit more depth so it's not so flat. Uh, reconsider things. There may be something that you decide you don't want. Like, I absolutely hate this nose thing that I put on here, so I'm just going to take it off. I think it's just better with a no nose than it is from having that one. Um, and then just look at everything overall, then zoom out and just kind of give it all a look and decide if there's something else you want. Like, you know, an elephant trunk might be kind of cool coming off of my nose here. So if there's something else that you want to try, experiment at this point. But we're getting very close to being finished with it. Um, so give it a good look. And then we'll move on to the very final step.